micro games, it seems, are here to stay. And today I wanted to highlight one that came out recently called Kobayakawa. This is a reprint put out by Yellow Games, which is really, really tiny, has very few components in it, and plays very simply. Let me show you how the game works, and then we'll come back here and I'll tell you what I think of it. The game comes with very few components. You have a bunch of these tokens here. You have a star player marker, which is this one right here, and I'm going to give to this player. And besides that, it comes with a very small deck of cards, which has 15 cards numbered 1 through 15. No repeats. To set up the game, you're going to give everyone four of these tokens. You're going to put eight in the middle, give someone the star player marker. You're going to shuffle up, give everybody a card, put the deck in the center, and flip one over. The way the game works is on your turn, you are going to take a look at your card, and you're going to have one of two choices. You can either draw another card, take a look at both, and then keep one, discard the other face up in front of you, or you're going to flip a new card over to cover this one up. The objective of the game is to win as many of these as possible and the way you do that is by having the highest total at the end of the round. So for example, let's say this person is going to draw. They're going to look at both. Let's say they want to keep the eight. Then this person is going to look at their card. They are going to flip a new card into the center because they like their 14 and I'll explain why in a second. And then this person will look at this and they will draw and they will discard. Now, starting from the star player again, everyone has to decide whether they are in, meaning they are going to basically bet on the fact that they can win the, the round, or they are out and they do not risk one of these tokens. So for the sake of the example here, let's say everyone's in. So they've all pushed forward their one token, and then everyone reveals their card. At that moment, we take a look at who won. The player who wins is the player who has the highest total. So, this player has 14, this one 12, this one 8. However, the player who has the lowest total of the table will also add this value to their card. So, in this case, we have the 12, this is another 12, and this is 14. So, this player wins, and they would take one chip from everybody who bet, and they would also get one from the center. You would then shuffle everything up, and deal again just like you did at the setup. The game goes for uh, seven rounds, betting at most one round, which already happened, two, three, four, five, six rounds, and then the seventh round is a double round. If you want to bet on that round, you have to push forward two tokens, and you can win both of these in the center. Once that round is over, whoever has the most of these tokens is the winner, and that's, uh, that's the whole thing. It's very simple. Kobayakawa, for such a slight game, really does quite a lot, I think. I love that it's just 15 cards, numbered, no text, a few tokens, and yet the game gives me this feeling of push-your-luck meets sort of poker-ish gameplay, this gambling, this, and it's all quick and simple and just works well. I've played the game with non-gamers and have had great success. I do like the game more with fewer players, I'll give that caveat, because I'm not sure I like the idea of there being so much information revealed. I like a little bit of information revealed, but having almost every card face up out there robs the game of a little bit of that push your luck. Is, is my 11 enough? Is my 12 enough? So I like that. I like not being able to puzzle it all out, but there being risk and reward in it. The game uh, plays very quickly. It could have a problem where by the end of the game, the last round or two rounds don't matter as much because someone has such a commanding lead. But honestly, I have not seen that happen very much, if at all. So the game has stayed interesting and tense for me all the way through, which again, it's not very long. And in my opinion, it's just an excellent little filler. If you like these new micro games that are coming out, if you like the idea of having something so small that you can carry around very easily, bring out, play an interesting bluffing push your luck game, I gotta recommend this one. This is one of my favorite games from last year, the reprint, and 
for me, the the cost to enjoyment and, and gameplay ratio is way, way up there. So, if that sounds good to you, I would recommend you check out Kobayakawa. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.